Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to our RimWorld Star Wars Lovecraft crossover series. When we last left off, we were just getting things started, and frankly, we've got a, a pretty reasonable setup going here. It does occur to me that I probably chose a poor place for this, because once we get geothermal power, we're going to have to move our crops a little bit. But I mean, that shouldn't be that big of a deal, so we'll... We'll get over it. Let's, uh, let us start growing as well as potatoes. We also want a bit of heel root, just so we have a little something extra there. And I guess, uh, actually, no, delete, uh, delete that. All right, new growing zone right here, like so. Like so, and this will be what we grow our smoke leaf in, just in case, you know, we need to make people feel slightly better about themselves, as, you know, sometimes happen. We'll give them a little bit of tilled soil here. Well, if by six, that'll be fine. Just kind of let things keep going here. We're also going to, I'm going to change the orders a little bit here. We don't need to mine this entire hallway out right away. So, for the time being, we're going to cancel past this. Also going to remove this plan right here. And let us set some orders to start mining a little bit of stuff here, just so we get things all nicely set up here. We're going to need to slowly start chopping out bedrooms. We want a little bit of a freezer, just a small freezer to get started with. There we go. There we go. New lovers. Margoa and Jumper have come together and are now lovers. Well, that uh, saves us one bed at least. Which is actually good because it means we only need these three rooms for the first thing. No, wait, we'd still need one more room unless someone else... Anyone else want to become lovers? Anyone? Anyone at all? Apparently not, so... Alright, that's okay. If struck compacted steel, that's good. More steel is always better than less steel. And yeah, I unforbid this, because I forgot. We have like a whole bunch of silver and stuff uh, from the crash site, and also wood, that we're kind of not not using at all here. That dead monkey can stay and rot there for all I care, I guess. I do like this whole dense forest mechanic here that the uh, denser forest mod adds. Also, in the video description is my full or as a link to the full list of mods on Steam, the whole collection. So you can get an idea of what we're working with over there. I did set, yeah, I set down this stockpile right here. We can move all these, uh, these right here, get those out of there. All right, so we're gonna have a bit of a clearing. Um, I think to myself, we're gonna need at least one wind turbine. So, this is gonna have to move like two. Eh. Well, well, we'll figure this out. I'll probably just like remove this bit right here. And it makes the most sense, I think, to have our wind turbine basically in the farm zone so as to ensure. In fact, I suppose I could just get rid of this right now. Because, yeah, we'll lose a couple of plants, but that should be fine overall. And I guess we'll just put tilled soil everywhere just to make sure that everyone, or that this stays very flat. Hello. 77 years old. All right, tribesman named Mara Tex calls from nearby. She's being chased by tribespeople from the Orange Tree Kin League. If you accept, you'll have to fight off the tribespeople on her tail. Offer safety, okay. She is one of those Zabrak folk. She's blue. And she has a doomsday rocket launcher. Are you kidding me? And she has no health problems. That's good. She is a brawler, though, so she's kind of pissed off about that. What are her traits? Chemical interest, straight, and a brawler. She is reasonably good at construction, artistic, and crafting. She can also grow fairly decently. She is social. She is a puncher. I mean, works for me. And I could just get her to fire a single shot and probably handle... All those mini monsters, which is of course what we call them. There we go, a little bit of this, and all these other things we can kind of 
we can fine-tune this later and this and all that other stuff. I mean, that'll be fine. Actually, it occurs to me, if I just fired one shot of this, it's probably going to set the whole damn forest on fire. She's being chased by one person. How bad could that be? Also, just uh, for confirmation purposes, two things. One, turns out a lightsaber actually needs a crystal in order to spawn. And two, if you want to have force powers, you actually have to have the force sensitive trait. Now, I thought it was fair because, like, the intention was to have one person with an actual functional lightsaber to uh, just put in a crystal here. But I thought to myself, I could add, I could add the force trans uh, sensitive trait to Margot because I did kind of intend to have, um. I did intend to have at least one Force user at the beginning of the series, but then I thought to myself, you know what? Let's uh, let's not do that instead. Let's uh, let's say, let's say no to that. Where where is this guy? I mean, he's probably faster than Mara because Mara is you know kind of old and stuff. It's not her fault. She's just you know 77 years old. I mean, she brought a superior Doomsday launcher. That alone basically makes bringing her into the colony worth it. What what are you even using? You have a wooden club. Incidentally, are you, uh, you're beautiful. Caring, artistic, and cooking. Can't do any of that. You are a crime boss's child and a mercenary leader. You're reasonably good at shooting and stabbing and socializing. You're also really passionate about it. So, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to actually try to... try to bring you in, I guess, if we can. It'd be hilarious if that pan for attacked. Uh, where is Margoa now? I don't want to see how this lightsaber will play play out. Uh, you're you're a bit of a distance. Who's our? We have a sniper at least. You can kind of you know stand in the doorway and shoot the bad guys. Yeah, if all those trees, there's no way he's getting in there. Okay, never mind. Apparently, he caught up real easily. All right. I mean, if you die, I suppose that's also, you know, it, it, if it happens, it happens. How did you catch up and then fall behind like that? That was weird. And apparently getting smacked in the left hand. Holy shit. Well, that, uh... That certainly established things pretty easily, didn't it? Uh, I'm gonna tell you to drop that. Jax, you can go ahead... No, no, don't haul it. I want you to I want you to put that away somewhere. There you go. We'll save that for... I mean, we could save it for this. We don't know what's going to be in here, and we may need to explode stuff in a hurry. So we'll, we'll get right on... Oh, have I not actually ordered the stuff to... No, I have. Yeah, just I don't have a plan over it. That's, that's the situation. All right. All right, so we have one more person to take care of now. I mean, it's just a bruise. A bruise should not get infected, unless I am mistaken. Also, we do need another sleeping spot here. There we are, we have a new colonist. Not the most valuable colonist, but she's not terrible either, so... Uh, to be honest, Jax. Jax, my good man. Don't, uh... Don't tend to Mara with our, our best our best stuff. Tend to her with your bare hands, if you don't mind. And then we get a, a raid. Let's see here. It's just one dude. His name is Bowman, and he's using a steel shiv. Let's see. Jealous, trigger-happy, industrious, and straight. I mean, he's pretty good at shooting stuff, and he's pretty smart, apparently. He's incapable of caring, though. That's always... You're in a little pain, and you are naked. That's good to know. Because you're naked, apparently. I mean, I don't know why you showed up naked, but... I guess it's not my place to judge. I kind of feel like this is Margoa's chance to shine here. I mean, Jax, he was just a boss. Just one shot, one kill. I have no mods, to my knowledge, that affect shooting accuracy, and I don't think any of the mods I'm using... I don't think any of them have that sort of effect. It'd be interesting if they did, but I don't think that's the case, so... All right, then. Incidentally... Let's pause things here while we're... Oh, good, I do actually have this as, uh... Everything's basically home-zoned already, but let's, uh... Anything outside the walls, we really don't need to worry about that much. I mean, fires... With all this, uh, stone here, we don't even really have to worry about... Fires spreading to us anyway. 
but still, I mean, it's wood, and wood falls apart pretty easily, so that's, I guess, something to be mildly concerned about. Jumper, while you were out there, why did you not uh, take care of that? Oh yeah, we do have these things set. Just need to get the materials, which... Yeah, we should have them, so we'll be able to get some power going at least, which is always good. Got a panther who has just killed a chinchilla. Alright, where is Margoa? You are hauling a sandstone chunk. Instead, I would like you to come here and... Oh! Activate. Oh, it even has the sound. Please don't break my door down before Margoa... Oh, that is so badass. Alright, Margoa. Okay, he, he punched my door open. I'm very angry about this. But you've got a jet, a lightsaber. Come on. Uh, are you even getting any shots off? Surely you got at least. All right, got some burns there. You have some cuts. I mean, you can't expect me to believe that this lightsaber is going to. What is that? There we go. All right, and he actually survived. I'll be honest. I feel like that probably should have been a one shot one. One kill there, but, uh, alright. Good job, Margoa. You have, uh, you have taken her down. And I suppose, I suppose we do owe it to her to maybe, maybe, uh, save her life and see if, uh, she'd be interested in joining our merry band of merry men. And we can try. Or we'll turn this into pr Oh, wait, 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 no. That's actually a very bad idea. Don't, don't put down a prisoner bed where the food is or else the colonists won't actually eat it. So instead, I guess if we want to save Margoa, I've got to... Got to get some doors of some kind here. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I don't know, if I just... Uh, some doors here and some doors here and also some doors here. We could turn this into our little uh, happy prison lodge. There we go. All right. I mean, I suppose I should have prepared for this, but wait a minute. Oh, and you're actually just burned. So apparently, apparently you will survive this. That's interesting. Yeah, Margoa gets, like, max quality treatment for being, you know, kind of important and everything. There you go, Jax. Good man. Good man. Uh, Krieg is sleeping on... Oh, he's stargazing. I thought he was sleeping on the ground for a second, and I was going to say, what in the devil are you doing there, man? You don't need to sleep there. Are you just going to, like... Is this vomit? Is this all vomit here? It, it, oh, no, it's just Margoa's blood, because, of course, she's... She's not, uh... She's not human, so she doesn't have red blood. Alright. We have a lot of wood. I should probably start building, like, beds and stuff. If for no other reason than to give our constructors something to do. So we'll make a couple of beds here. At least four, and then we'll squeeze a double bed in there, because why not? Am I just letting anyone cook? I feel like I'm letting anyone cook, and I should probably set... Who is our best chef, anyway? Let's see here. Cook. Four. So you're not a... Oh. You know what? Talia, you're actually... You're passionate about cooking. And you guys aren't terrible at it. Put it as, like, ultra-low priority. So, uh, only people with a cooking skill of four or higher, and we'll eventually kind of raise that higher to ensure... Some level of safety and actual competency, really, when it comes to comes to that. We have plenty of meals to keep us going for a while. Uh, Bowman is still lying there. Possibly, possibly soon to die, actually. You never know. And our best constructorizer, Talia, if you would actually maybe work on the doors instead, and then we'll kind of un shift that. There we go. Get this stuff set up. That way we can recruit a prisoner and actually do some prison related things. In fact, can I turn this into a prisoner bed now? I can. I mean, currently they get this whole backyard. That's cool. Have some visitors. 
and Mara is building. Jumper, you can wake... Are you running away? Yeah, you're running. You know what? Oh, and you're 55 years old. You know what? Never mind. You're not worth my time. Someone mop up that blood. All right. Now then, let's see here. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Party spot. Caravan packing spot. We'll put... No, that doesn't even make sense as a caravan spot. You can strike that. Forget, uh, forget about that. All right, good. We have... We have invented a freezer. That's good. We are one step closer. Actually, I've got this whole refrigerator item, so I could be doing something with that instead of what I'm actually presently doing, I suppose. So that's something. And I'm gonna kind of run this like this, and then up like this. And I'll run it directly in here, since later I'm probably gonna do something with that, but for now... For now we will leave it. Locked by oak tree, gotcha. Alright, so we got both of these things, and now we just need to make sure everyone tiles the floor. Wait, wait, hang on a second here. Piling these did not actually get them to chop down the trees, that's very unfortunate. So let's actually get some orders here to clear all of this space, like so. Harvest anything that can be harvested, and cut any plants that can be cut. Alright. That way we get maximum, maximum efficiency, if we can. I mean, we're chopping that, we're gonna sow ourselves some potatoes. Meant to put rice here, but that's okay. If I change it to rice now, will they... Yeah, they'll probably, like, dig everything up, and that seems kind of silly to me at this point, when they're already one third of the way grown. We will eat potatoes today. And while we have our smoke leaf and our heel root, that's good, so we'll have some... Some sources of stuff there are best socializer. Actually, you know what? You're a terrible socializer compared to Mara. Mara, let's see if we can do some trade with Wimp here. Is Wimp actually a Wimp? Let's find out. He's nervous. He's also incapable of a lot of things. I uh, could sell some Jedi garb, some cloth pants. And I'll hold on to the Jedi garb for now. That sounds just cool. And make some money with that. And that's about it. Alright. We're actually off to a good start. We have no Imperial credits here, so... Don't have to worry about that just now. The agency is leaving. They have not caused us any problems, which is always good. Everyone's asleep. Still ha unhappy, really, because... I mean, I can understand them being unhappy. I have kind of... Why is this all poor? All right, I'm not having people sleep in, in poor beds. Superior, that's the blood moon. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. It is a blood moon. Well, that's ominous. That's uh, telling us of truly horrible things to come, no doubt. So I guess better you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why a certain elder god is coming to town. Or, you know, something to that general effect. And, uh, he very definitely sees you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake and doesn't really care if you've been bad or good because he has completely different moral alignments for goodness sake. So, keep that in mind. We'll have all this cleared eventually. Tali has gotten some food poisoning. Alright, I mean... I can understand people being upset by that. Construction failed. Hang on a second here. Why is Talia... Oh, Ta You're nine and you're still failing? That's just... That's just frankly embarrassing. You should feel bad for yourself. Like, completely bad for yourself. That's just awful. And I guess I'll set you guys slightly lower priority and... Maybe we'll lower these a little bit just to ensure that we get some... Choppity chop action here, because I mean... I'm not too concerned about losing resources. I'm, well, I feel kind of bad if we don't get, like, awesome steel resources there, but at the same time... Also, it just occurs to me, you are now stuck in here. So that's uh, probably less than good, especially since I'm lowering the temperature down to negative one degrees. 
So, uh, you know, good luck with that. Who is our best miner? Please tell me it's, it's Jax, isn't it? It is. All right, so literally the only guy who could do anything. Well, then again, he only has a couple of blocks to break, so surely, surely he'll be able to do it. Let's also turn off this power source so that Jax does not freeze to death. I mean, that's not exactly what we're trying to do with our lives, so we don't want him freezing. I like the red aesthetic of the Blood Moon. But the tame, at the same time, it does mildly scare me. Seriously, you're gonna break open our wash bucket? Good job, sir. Alright, what do we got here? This is normal, this is good. This is also good, and this is normal. Alright, that's good enough. I mean, I suppose I could start establishing beds for people. That would not be terrible. Uh, we could smooth out these floors as well, if we so desire, which I guess we do. Uh, Jax, you have to get out of there. Like, you're gonna you're gonna starve to death if you... I don't know, Jax, be, be intelligent about this if you don't mind. I would actually much rather... Just to make sure I actually have set the orders pro... Yeah, you have orders here. Could you instead maybe mine this? What do you mean impassable? Oh, this is a wall! Well, that, uh, that changes things considerably. There is some kind of sandstone wall in here. Please don't let this open up some kind of horrible, horrible, you know, range of horrors here. That would be less than ideal. Deconstruct this wall, please. God help us all if there's something on the other side of this. Nope, there's not. Okay, we're alive. It's, it's just a random wall. Good job, Jumper. You are just giving everyone PTSD with your crazy shooting over there. I mean, blasters have pretty nice range, though, so that's that's actually good, really. I wonder if this panther will eat the corpse of uh, Diver over here at some point. Still impressed with Jax's shot. Okay, the Blood Moon has passed without any immediately obvious horror-related incidents happening, so I guess we're, we're all good there. Okay, Jax, maybe prioritize digging your way out, as you will die otherwise, and generally speaking, I would... Actually, rather you not die. Rat revenge. Good job. A marriage! Wow, this is all moving so fast. Margot has accepted Jumper's marriage proposal. Wow. Gotta get this rec room going so that we can have the, uh, the marriage in there. Are there any life forms in this little clearing? Yeah, there's a monkey. Monkeys are always nice. Who doesn't appreciate a good monkey? What are you doing? Mar oh, you're, uh taking care of the floors, are you? I suppose I can get rid of all of these now. Like, these aren't really needed. Uh, let's deconstruct that. Also, also, let's see here. Ah, here we are. There's another mod I added that kind of lets you see the temperature of rooms, which I think is pretty nifty and cool and useful. It's basically just the heat map mod. For some again, I suppose I can understand the difficulty in seeing because it is kind of we did shoot the monkey once, though. I heard it squeal. Must have been a different monkey. Alright, this is open now, so I guess we can go ahead and turn that on. Which will make the whole place cold, I suppose, which is okay. And structure. Let's make let's make the interior doors, like, out of steel, I suppose. That makes some level of sense to me. I don't really need to claim those, really. Who needs treatment? Krieg needs treatment. Uh, who was our best doctor again? It was Jax, right? Jax is, yes, Jax is a good doctor. Jax, please tend to tree, or taking care of Krieg. What's Krieg's problem? He was bitten, and his peg leg has been cracked. Or Krieg. Well, at least he's been treated, so that'll, that'll take care of us for the time being. And we do also have a reasonable amount of medicine, so I suppose there's not that much for us to worry about. Just, uh, smoothing things down. We even have some pre-built floors in here. That's good. Let's take a quick look at things here. Very dirty. Uh, somewhat impressive. I guess, at least it's not negative anymore. Very poor, quite spacious, it is ugly, and very dirty. So overall, people don't really care for it that much. Uh... Is that owner... A jumper in there. Jumper... 
Jumper deserves to be able to sleep with his fiance. I think so, anyway. Get these guys hauling some stuff, and I mean, things are kind of coming along nicely. Soon enough, everyone will have their own bed, and I'm sure people will be happy about that. And just generally, life will go on, but that's about where this episode wraps up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all of you in the next video.